chance to have two jamboards today. They are connected together. Uh, and um, so let's get started. There. Oh, yeah. And so, so here we are with actually the jamboards already joined the meeting. So you can see it on the screen. So how do I join a meeting from the Jumbo? It's very simple. I go to my menu and I connect. Uh, here it tells me leave meeting because I'm already in a meeting. But I would connect this way to the meeting. How do my collaborators join? Uh, there are several ways. I can add them traditionally by adding their email address manually. I can use the Bluetooth, as some of you have already done here, to join while I'm in the room. And I can also use the NFC by tapping my phone when I walk in the room. So I've got everybody in the room. I also have uh, the uh, meeting started. So I can start my, my jam session. So the Jamboard comes with two passive uh, styluses and an eraser. And they don't require any charging or anything. I've got a menu here where I can add up to 20 frames. I'm on a new frame here. And I can also pick a colored background if I want, or dots, lines, or pick blue for today. Uh, and the thought behind that is that shortly we'll be also launching custom uh, backgrounds for our customers, which means that you'll be able to uh, load on um, a frame with your logo or any typical use case uh, background that you would use uh, on a daily basis. So I've got different, actually, So different pens and brushes I can use. And I also have the, thanks to machine learning, the handwriting recognition. So if I write here. Cloud. I made a mistake. Oh, two files here. So I will correct my mistake here. Close enough, it's cloud. Um, so anytime I use handwriting recognition, it becomes an object. Any object on the board, you will uh, manipulate with two fingers. I can also group text here. So make sure that Damson Cloud is one. And here we go. Um, thanks to machine learning, I also can recognize shapes. So here I will do a circle. Make sure you close it, otherwise you won't recognize it, and sometimes it just doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. And I can also link them together. So that's very useful, for example, uh, if I'm going to do flow charts. It needs to be a straight line. <laughs> there we go. Like that. So. As you see, anything I draw becomes an object. But here, I kind of keep the whiteboard feeling uh, where I can erase with my fingers. Uh, you can see the dust falling here. Your hands are clean. Uh, this is not an animation. It's actually every pixel that's being disintegrated on the board. I can choose to, so I've got a, a feature that allows me to have finger erasing on, which I was now doing. But I can switch it off if I want. I can also force it in the admin for my users. And in that case, I will be now able to draw with my fingers. And here you can see that I'm drawing. So the board has 16 touch points. That means that I have 16 people can be uh, interacting at the same time of the board. Of course, physically, that's going to be difficult, 16 around one board. But think about your remote collaborators. Uh, anybody on tablet, uh, desktop today as well, because you can use the Jamboard app on a desktop and interact from there. So now we've got these features. And I can also clean the board in one touch if I don't want to um, move to the next page. And the last, uh, more fun part uh, that's also enabled by machine learning is the auto draw. Some of you might have tested it separately. Um, I will ask for one volunteer, <laughs> a fourth volunteer. Come on over. So this will recognize uh, what you're drawing. 
Okay. So just throw out anything. 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 Okay. It will give you some choices here. So let's see. Yeah, because he's on this one. Why should be meant to be a boat? No, because I think you had this in the corner here. We can start over. We'll cancel. Oh, hold on. You know what? I was going to try and erase that. Yeah, start it over. <laughs> so it's machine learning. So of course, the more this feature is being used, the better it gets. Um, I've had someone, <laughs> so you've got your houses are coming up here, different choice. Uh, so you just tap on it for two seconds. Yeah, there you go. So during the breaks, feel free to, to come and test it yourself. Uh, at, at the, an event one time, I had someone drawing a, a jam board on the board, <laughs> and it was like, it doesn't even recognize itself. And I said, no, we didn't give him self-consciousness yet. <laughs> so. So this photo whiteboard, uh, other features there that are uh, highly used will be the, the post-it. Uh, I can use a swipe or the traditional um, keyboard here, but I can also use uh, handwriting recognition as I wish. Um, those are, can be also duplicated uh, from here. I can change the color, I can edit. So it, it's a, a feature that's widely used by our customers for brainstorming. Um, and, uh, and it also has a, a long text capacity. I don't even know the, the number of um, letters, but it's, it has a wide uh, uh, capability when it comes to uh, adding text. So we have customers that you know, will write full sentences, throwing out ideas, and, and that's quite convenient. So leaving um, kind of this, like we're now in like a whiteboard environment. If we move more into a collaborative mode, uh, in the second part of my menu, I have here a drive icon. And if I click on it, it just invites me to download the app. Why is that? Because I, for security reason, I don't want anyone walking in that room having access to my data. So any content that I want to push on the board, I will do that from the app. So from my phone, uh, from my tablet, uh, I'll be able to push uh, some, some uh, content here. So if I go here to this jam session, I will do it myself. There. So you'll also see in this panel up here, so we see people joining, and you will always see your collaborator's avatar in the main menu. And anytime they're acting on the board, it will also appear on the board. So I'm now going to go to my drive here on my phone. And I'll pick a PDF here. And here it appears. So to open it, I would double tap. It takes usually a few seconds to load it. And then I can export pages. So same principle uh, applies for uh, sheet, sheet uh, docs uh, and slides. Uh, when it comes to slides, uh, we have an upcoming fe uh, feature uh, coming, which will have the board will automatically detect, detect that it is a slide, and it will auto-populate uh, frames up here. Got a reboot here. I don't know what happened. I think someone threw a jam <laughs> on the board. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I think someone is on their phone drawing. That's okay. We'll put it back. It's it's good. It's interaction. <laughs> and I have more people joining here, so that's good. Uh, let me. Do you need to join this again, or? Uh, no, I think it's here. I think someone mistakenly put a jam up. So now we're back on. Yeah. But we're not. We're not open here. Oh, on there. I oh, need to join again. Uh, oh yeah, you're right. Unless yeah. people just want to look at me. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll join here. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's a demo effect. I see a lot of people are joining, though. That's great. So I will join the meeting here, the same principle as on any yeah, other devices. Ju just to explain the meeting while Sylvie's doing that. So th this is a Google Hangout that, that I'm in here, which is the, the little video call. And um, what, what Sylvie's doing is she's joining that meeting. So you can actually add the Jamboard to the meeting so that now everybody in the meeting, imagine we're on a video conference and there's you know, a dozen people or so, um, and everybody's able to, to see what's yeah. happening. So the Jamboard basically joins the meeting as a participant. So imagine yourself with a Jamboard in one location. You could have your collaborators in a different, collab uh, different location, not necessarily on a Jamboard. You could be on tablets or desktop. Uh, but if you are connected on, in a meet, then the Jamboard would join uh, the meeting and you can uh, actually put it on the white screen as we have here in the room. So, you know, it's looking at budget investing in Jamboard. Uh, what I mean is that you don't need to buy two at once. You could start with one and from them grow, uh, grow it. So from here, um, as I said, I can import documents. I have a, a browser as well where I can import content. I'm going to down some cloud website. I can open my window halfway here. And here I am on the website. From here, I can export uh, a capture, an image capture to the board. So far, that's the only export possible. We're working on being able to add, for example, a YouTube video onto the board as an object. As of today, it's only static content. Uh, but you can, depending on the, the bandwidth, you can also play a video from the browser. And I also have a, an image library, uh, which already has a filter applied to it so that it will only uh, give me some people here. Uh, it only gives me um, 4K quality images, which are uh, free of copyright, so I can use them easily for presentations. <laughs> so I got Dublin here. And you can see here the quality of the picture. So besides that, are you ensuring to copyright if you modify it? Uh, no. So if you go to that library, it will be automatically um, Copyright free, if you're in a browser and go to images, there you can still import logos. Anything that's out there, you'll be able to. So no, we don't have that notification yet. Good question. Uh, and then I also have a uh, emoji library that I can use to comment, uh, work on apps, for example. So coming in the future as well will be a customized uh, content library for our customers. Today, the way you import content will be from Drive, as you saw. So if you want to use specific icons or images, you can simply save them in Drive and uh, get them from there. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, and I saw that a lot of people join, so then you can, during the session, add uh, more information. But I'm now going to also very important thing. So now let's say I'm finished my meeting. I'm going to leave this session. Before I do so, I can make sure that everybody gets a copy. So I can send a copy to all collaborators. This might take a while here. And this ensures as well that if I have clients uh, visiting me, for example, they might not have a Gmail address to have access to the app. <coughs> because know that all you need for using the app today is just a Gmail account. So I can still send them I a copy in PDF which I have done now, so you guys will be receiving those. Um, those who were in the session will receive it. And now I will close this jam. And now we can move on to the other board where we can uh, push. Um, this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can do it yourself. I have it on here, yeah. Yeah. One, one is Trinity Barber and one is the uh, Forge. This is the Trinity, so you're going to push it. So now Finton is basically pushing his jam onto the board. He says optimistically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. I'm not a Jamboard expert yet. So, uh, do we want to put it up on the other one as well? I will, yeah, I can do that. Okay. I was just waiting for it to come now. Because people are joining at the same time. And then we'll, the other jam where you're already, uh, you're already in, 
we can put it back on the board later and you can keep playing with yeah, it. Yeah. Can, uh, can Milton, for example, do some private notes in his own copy on his tablet that so he doesn't share with everyone? So you can, uh, you can make a copy. So any jam session you can make a copy of. What's also useful, which I didn't show, is from the menu here, if I drag up, I can duplicate. Drag down, I delete. So duplicate could be that you work on your own version, and, and then you can compare. But you have to switch between the two. There isn't a private section. No, there isn't. Kind of uh, and then another uh, thing I forgot to say as well is that we've added also rights to users, so they can either um, they can either become an edit viewer, and you can also uh, remove them from a session. So let's imagine that you have a, a two-window meeting where only part of the team is going to participate the first half. You can remove the other people, send them a copy, and then maybe the rest of the team is going to add comments to that, and then you have another version. Uh, but yeah, it would be then going to one, one to another. Well, actually, these are connected together. So you're, you're just, you know, you're in the cloud as well. So everything is instantly saved. Also in your app, but also in your personal drive. So you will have a jam file in your drive, and you will find it also on your app. Which means that tomorrow, you didn't get to finish what you want to do. You come back, you did what just Finton did. You just push it back on the board, and you keep working. Uh, same to prepare meetings. You can very well so, you know, on your way, home Tuesday night, create a jam on your phone, invite everyone, assign them maybe a frame to work on for the meeting next day, and then you already have something to uh, work with. <laughs>